Hello, Brian here, Chrome Alliance Screen Print Products. Today I will be going over the proper usage of the 10 step exposure guide. One of the most common questions we get here at Chrome Alliance is what's my exposure time? It's a very difficult question to answer. There's so many variables, the type of light source, the aging condition of the light source, the distance of the screen from the light source, the emulsion you're using, the coating thickness, and the mesh count, the list goes on and on. So it's really important that you dial in your proper exposure yourself. There's three methods to do this. You can use the Chromaline Exposure Calculator that's available on Chromaline.com. Uh, you can also run your own step exposure with your own artwork. Both of those methods, you can find links to those in the notes below. Today we're gonna go over the third method, which would be the 10 step exposure guide. It's 10 steps, you may have heard that there's a 21 step guide. It's exactly the same filters, it's just that we only, for screen printing, we really only need up to the filter 10 and beyond that it's uh, really kind of irrelevant to screen printing. The 10 step exposure guide comes with ex instructions on both sides of the envelope, one side in English, the other side in Espanol. In the instructions you'll see that the guide itself has a shiny side and a matte side. We'll adhere the matte side to the emulsion. This is chromaline and it is coated one by one, one on each side, on a 230 mesh, okay? I'm also going to use an additional photopositive. You can use your own photopositive. We also provide a test pattern on our website. So the idea there is that when you go to develop, you won't completely be focusing on the exposure guide itself. Uh, you will be developing as you normal, normally develop, and that's important. You know, I know the exposure time of, the, of this particular screen, uh, and I, I know it to be uh, 30 seconds. But just for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to expose at uh, 60 seconds. Yeah, so that 60 seconds was just a shot in the dark. It's a ballpark figure. Uh, if you're already exposing another emulsion, you can use that the time you're using on the other emulsion. Uh, if you have no clue, uh, you should reach out to the vendor of your emulsion and ask them. Okay, let's go and develop this out. So you'll want to develop as you typically develop. At Chrome Line, we recommend that you gently spray both sides of the screen with lukewarm water. Let the water do some work. So you'll wait about 30 seconds, then you'll gently wash the print side of the screen until the image is fully open. And again, develop the whole screen so you're not focusing specifically on the test area itself. Again, it's nice having that image below the test wedge. It allows me to see that oh, I am probably overexposed in this case. You know, it allows me to uh, not overdevelop by focusing specifically on the test area. If you were to develop beyond what a normal development would be, you could wash away additional steps, skewing your results. Okay, so we have our initial test screen where we held a solid nine. Uh, again, the target is to hold a solid seven. So that means we have to decrease our exposure time. And if we refer to the instructions on, on your envelope, you'll see that to decrease two steps, which would be from the nine to the seven, you'd have to multiply by 0.5. So uh, 60 seconds times 0.5 would be 30 seconds. For an illustration of underexposure, let's say that you held a solid four in the initial test. You'd need to increase three steps, as you can see on the envelope, which you would multiply by a factor of 2.8. So we're gonna go ahead and do this second test, but it's not necessarily a test. You can actually use the artwork that you plan to use in production because it should be the proper time. So we'll go ahead and use the artwork that we plan to use in production. But this time we're gonna still put the exposure wedge uh, just to verify that we did indeed get the correct time.
Super, in this case, the test worked out great. With this exposure unit, this emulsion, and this mesh, we held a solid seven at 30 seconds. Our artwork that we intend to print developed perfectly. We'll go ahead and cover the exposure guide with some chromophyll blockout and we're good to go. If you have additional questions on exposure, please click the link below. Print with confidence.